Hey guys, Dan the Cardman back again with a, another mail day. Um, this one should be fairly interesting. So this is a lot of cards that I sent off to HDA um, for grading. So it'll be three um, basketball cards. So the turnaround time for this was actually pretty quick. I sent it off, I think in the last week of July via Express Post. It got to there in a couple of days. I think it landed there on the 27th of July. Um, I opted for the um, express service or the 10 business day service, whatever they call that. Um, they turned it around, I think seven business days. Um, they shipped it on Tuesday, Australian time. It's now Thursday and it arrived today. So pretty good. Um, I didn't do a submission process for this, um, just cause I wanted to try and test it out myself first, but I'll be doing, um, another submission shortly with some Euro cards. Um, and I want to try and capitalize on some of their, um, their unique labeling that you can do the, the personal labeling, what do they call that? The custom labeling, sorry. Um, so in here, there is three cards, like I said, um, all from 2013, 2014 basketball select. There is a Kobe Bryant base silver prism, um, a LeBron James clutch silver prism and a Giannis draft selections um, base card. Oh, it's an insert, but you know what I mean? Non-prism variant. Um, so, Worked it to be about $300, I think, including um, postage there with insurance and then return as well as the grading fees itself. Um, so I'm really keen to see what we get. This is the first time I've done a video like this, so I'm a bit nervous. Um, one thing to keep in mind with um, HGA in general is that they're pretty harsh on surfacing, on surface like issues and things like that. Um, 2013 Select was incredibly notorious for having surface scratches. Um, I believe HGA state that like nine is the highest you can get with surface scratches. Um, so each of these do have surface scratches. They're very light. So I'm not expecting anything higher than a nine. And to be fair, like nine would be the highest I would expect. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if I get anything lower than that, to be honest, because it's, they're, from what I've seen, they're quite harsh. Um, sorry, give me a sec to open this. I'm a bit I'm like an idiot right now. That should be good. Oh, there's stuff on the sides too. Um, so yeah, let's see what we get. Like I'm not, like I said, I'm not expecting anything major. This was just sort of like a test run. The Giannis is going to be something that I keep in my um, in my PC. LeBron and Kobe, if they come back with decent grades, I'll probably sell one of them just to fund the submission and then um, keep the rest. I'll keep the other two. If the grades are not the best, then I'll um, I'll just keep them for the PC. Nothing major. I just did it more so just try and get my Yana slab because I was concerned that it was getting damaged and then just from floating around a top loader all the time and then to also um, just test out the process because this, like I said, there's some select Euro cards that I want to send through that I'm really keen to see what custom labeling looks like and I just want to try out the process um, first. So I make sure that the labels are in a lot of bubble wrap there. Just want to make sure I don't see what the... I've got them face up. Okay. Oh, they... Okay, they all face down. Yep. Okay. So nothing left in the box. Just make sure. Maybe I can just show my address. I'm going to have to edit that out after. Um, okay. So the slabs look pretty good so far in person. Um, so as you go, you just get sent. Just a card like that. Um... I guess it's just the competition that they have. Like I said, it was pretty well packaged. The cards themselves come in. Um, you can see some sleeves. As you can see, there's a Kobe there. Um, LeBron clutch. And then the Giannis draft selections rookie card. Uh, probably start off with the Kobe. So these, they do feel really nice in the hand, actually. They've got a lot of weight to them. They feel very different to PSA slabs. This is the first time I've seen any of these, so... Um, let's see how we go. I'll cover the grade. See if I can cover the subgrades too. So you can see the card and what did we get? We got a nine. Nice. So they've said, yeah, corners nine, surface nine, edges nine, centering 8.5. Centering looked pretty good to me, but now that I'm looking at it again, I can clearly see that this, it, it, it's off. And um, I should mention as well, with the Kobe, I did the jersey color match label. 
um, which doesn't look too bad, to be honest. You just get it at a better angle. You can see there, I'm very happy with the nine, FYI. Like that's what I was expecting. So I'm, I'm, I'm very, very happy with that. From what I've seen, I'm sure you guys have as well. Um, HGA sim really strict. Like I've, I've seen hardly any tens come out. So basically a 9.5 is from what I've seen is the equivalent of a PSA nine or sorry, PSA 10. Um, they've just gone that extra level of strictness. Um, but yeah, I'm happy considering like when I saw, like I said, the surface scratch process for them, but that's a, that's a nice card. I'd like to, I know I said earlier that I'm probably going to try and sell one of these, but if they're all looking like this, come back with grades like this, they're probably going to stay in the PC. Don't tell my wife that. But overall, the slab feels, it feels really nice in the hand. I'll do a comparison later on. I'm sure other people have as well of what um, they compare like to PSA, but these look really nice. Let me take it out of the, the team bag. So off to a good start. They, they, these slabs are cracker. I'm very impressed with these slabs. Very, very impressed. So yeah, like I said, there were some light surface scratches. Like I had a lot of 2013 Select. It's like one of my favorite products that have ever come out. Um, and I had a lot of them maybe not stored the best way. So to get something like that, I'm very happy. So I'll put that over there. Um, so one thing to mention, yeah. So I believe I went, I chose the, I think I chose the splash option for all three cards. I went Kobe with the, the jersey. I would have thought they would have gone put on the background, but I guess that's how they do it. doesn't look too bad. The, the black looks nice. Um, I believe on the LeBron, I did match the card um, just because I'm not a huge fan of the Heat jersey. And I like the fact that I'll share what the, the clutch looks like in a second. And then Giannis, I went the jersey as well. And I think I did splash for all three of them. Okay, so give me one sec. Let's figure out how I can flip this this time. So there's the LeBron. You can see I'm expecting another nine. So let's see. Nine again. Nice. They actually get the service on this in 9.5. That's very surprising. And I like, so you can see here, I've got something to match the jersey. I'm not sorry, match the card. I really like that. I think it flows with this card quite well. Um, but yeah, I'm very surprised they get the surface on this in 9.5 because there definitely was some very light surface scratches on it. Um, but yeah, they, they do grade quite harshly, like I said. So I'm very happy with that 2.9 so far. I'll take this one out of the team bag as well, just so you can see it up close. Hopefully the Giannis, I'll be very happy if I get a Giannis in the nine, to be honest. If it's anything less, I'll be a bit disappointed just because that's the one that's purely an investment piece. Like I pulled that card myself. Um, give you some background. I'm sure like most people that went after select 13, 14, like you probably threw away a lot of your Giannis rookies or you gave them away for quite cheap. And I knew I sold a couple for very cheap of the base cards. And, and I actually had a draft draft selections purple insert that I realized afterwards as well. I went back through my sales on Facebook and for the price I sold them for, like I wanted to cry. <laughs> I definitely threw away close to 10 grand doing that, but I guess that's part of the hobby, right? So at least I've still got one. I can't complain. So you can see there, the label looks quite good. I really like it. I think it matches the card well. Um, and these cards look phenomenal in their slabs, guys. Like I had these in top loaders and, and penny sleeves, obviously, and I didn't think they looked that f like flash, to be honest. But they look awesome in their slabs. They look These look fantastic. You can see the back. Um, you can see some slight, if you look there at the top of the card, you can see some... It's not chipping, but it's like that, I don't know what you call it, fuzz on, on the edging of the card. You can just, let me see if I can get it to show up. It's right above the C on the clutch there, you can see some fuzz and a bit there on the bottom left corner. So this one would have almost been a 9.5, I guess. I know they weight some things more than others. Um, and just to give context as well, um, I believe the highest grade you can get is only a half grade above the subgrades and unless it's surface i think if you get a surface nine the highest you can get is a nine all right so two nines so far i'm very 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 pleased with that so i'm trying to get these in, in shot a bit better all right Giannis. let's see how we go in the big boy uh okay so cover this so i'm not the best at showing this guys this lighting is pretty poor but let's see what we get 
9.0 again. I'm very happy with that. So again, uh, let me take the sleeve off. Not sure if the label choice on this one works the best. Uh, maybe I should have gone to card match, but that's still that's still awesome. Like I said, the um, the surface was um, to be expected a nine. It's three nines. Very happy with that. Considering, like I said, tens seem to be quite difficult to get. Like pack fresh cards, and I know pack fresh cards aren't always the best themselves. Um, like that's not a good statement to make, but yeah, like I said, I was expecting expecting nine, so I'm very, very, very happy.